Let's go ahead and fix some of the bugs that are going on in this game. So let's go ahead and run this and let's make a note of some of the bugs that we're encountering. So if I go ahead here and click on the co-op mode, for starters, I shoot automatically, which is a problem. I control both characters using WSAD keys. Now, looking at the shoot issue, something occurred to me. The shoot logic isn't different between the player and player one and player two. It's different in the way you trigger it. However, the method is the same. So I'm actually going to remove the duplicate shoot method that we created. So I'm gonna look for shoot. And here we have private void shoot and then shoot player two. The code is identical and we don't need to have two of them. Instead, if we go ahead and save this, what I can do is I can actually just change it to if is player two, we have player movement, and then this is why it's actually shooting because we were just saying if you're player two, shoot always. So what I need to do here is I just need to add logic similar to this. So what key is gonna be the player two's uh, shoot? It's gonna be enter. So here we can just check for the enter key. So we'll say if input dot get key down. And then the key code we want is the enter key. So we're gonna say key code dot enter, keypad enter. And we'll go ahead and save this. And if we hit the enter keypad or keypad enter, what do we want to happen? We want to shoot. So we'll call our shoot method. We'll save this. Now let's head back into Unity and our player should no longer shoot and we should be able to control player two using just the keypad. So let's go ahead and test this out. Click on co-op. All right, so one thing you'll notice is if I left click, I can shoot both characters and using the WSAD key, I still control both. However, if I use the keypad, I control just player two. And if I hit enter key, I can shoot. So now we have a fully functional player two. Now, the question here we need to fix now is why is, uh, for starters, when I left click, why does it fire for both? And then also, when I move WSAD, why does it follow for both? So let's go ahead and solve that problem. If we look at our movement code or an update here, we're checking for player one is true and player two is true. Based on which one is true, it does that action. So Let's go ahead and let's go back into Unity. Let me make sure that player two does not have player one equals true. So if we look on player two, and there you go, here is our bug. Player one was checked. We are not player one. We are only player two. If I click on player one, it plays player one. So that was our issue right there. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's head back into the main menu. And now our logic should be entirely isolated. So we'll go up into the co-op mode. And you'll see here, when I left click, that fires. If I hit the enter key, player two fires. If I move the WSAD key, player one moves. If I move the arrow keys, player two moves. We have our functioning co-op game. If I hit space key, the game begins. And I can control both players. And there we go. We have functioning co-op mode. And you'll see here that player two can take damage just as well. Let's go ahead and get player two hit. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so I think that wraps up our, uh, our co-op mode. Uh, one thing we actually wanna do now is um, we're gonna have to just create a way to get back to the main menu when the game is over. I'll see you guys in the next video.